Hi guys, Nigel here. Uh, experimenting with uh, two different blends of flock from the same manufacturer. In these jars, both right and left, there is two teaspoons of soil in it, dirt. I'm going to put one teaspoon of motor oil in each shake them up and a drip of detergent and we're going to look at the bottles after they're shaken to see what it look like okay I just poured in one teaspoon of motor oil in each of the bottles containing 2000 milliliters of water mixed with two heaped tablespoon of dirt I'm gonna cover them up and shake them up okay both vessels has the soil detergent and used motor oil in there you shake them up you can see the bubbles multiplication process has been taking place going to bring the light a little closer have a look down inside see the suspended solids and now we are about to place flock A into this vessel and flock B into this vessel. Okay, about to make some flock flock A into container A. Just about 0.1666 ounces, which is one teaspoon level I'm going to shake it up Now that's what I'm talking about. Easy water treatment. Flock A in jar A. Just about 0.166 ounces in 2000 milliliters of water. Two heaped teaspoons of soil. One teaspoon of used motor oil. And about four to five drops of butyl detergent let's try flock B okay I'm about to put 0.166 ounces one teaspoon of flock B into container B containing 2000 milliliters of water two teaspoons of soil one teaspoon of used motor oil and three to four drops of butyl Degreaser.
there we have flock B working seems that flock A is doing a better job flock A did a great job in comparison to flock B seems like we still have a lot of suspended solids in flock B It's very possible we had a little too much detergent in B. And A, pretty respectable supernate. Okay, guys, this is what flocculation can do for your water treatment processes. Thanks for your time.